Um, the weather in Nepal is mostly sunny nearly all year, which is amazing, and not windy at all, apart from a couple of times of year in the autumn people fly kites. Um, it's warmer than here. In winter it goes down about three or four, um, so it's cold in the house. You have to wear lots of layers um, in winter, but outside it's sunny and warm. Uh, it didn't rain this year between November and February, um, and we get lots of rain in the summer from June to September. Um, but when it rains, it's not usually cold, so that's pretty nice. It gets up to about 30 degrees. I really enjoyed chicken curry with a kind of millet mash um, and other vegetables and pickles and stuff. I'll try and send you a photo. When it was Burns Night this year, I actually really missed haggis. I felt that's one of the few times I felt homesick. Um, apart from that, usually it's cheddar cheese that I miss. And um, recently, flavoured yoghurt with a fruit flavour or crumpets. But then an Australian lady made some crumpets. Um, sometimes I just forget about things and then I remembered, oh, crumpets. I work with the United Mission to Nepal, which is a large charity that's been there for 67 years. And uh, my role is to help share the stories of our work so that the work can keep going and sharing those stories in English with supporters around the world. Um, I do really enjoy my job. It's really satisfying to do something that I enjoy and it feels worthwhile because our the work of UMN is really worthwhile in changing people's lives. Um, and I also love being in a different country, exploring the nature, the um, plants and animals and flowers and fruits and vegetables and insects, and as well as the Himalayas, of course. Some things are similar. We have uh, services uh, where everyone gathers and in the middle of the week we have a sangati, like a fellowship, which is like Bible study and um, prayers and singing. Um, a big difference is there's so many young people in church because the whole population is young and the church is growing. And um, also young people in my church are leading worship. People really love singing. And so the singing part goes on for longer and the sermon also goes on for a long time. Um, that's a difference, perhaps. Another difference is that we meet on a Saturday, not a Sunday. And um, yeah, sometimes when we are in church, in some churches, more traditional ones, you sit on the floor, you take your shoes off and you come and you sit on the floor. Sometimes the men are at one side, the women on the other side. Sometimes women are like wearing a scarf when they're praying. Last week I was um, checking my phone all the time because I knew a pastor um, and a grandfather who was um, both pastors of a really large church and they were critically ill in hospital having been there for maybe 10 days on oxygen. And during the week uh, the older pastor died, he was 95, died on the Tuesday and his son died on the Friday. I know the daughter... Um, who is 14 year old she's an only child her mother was also recovering from covid when she was at the funeral at the back of the hospital um this church was like over a thousand people so the whole christian community is um, really reeling and shocked um by losses it's not just this pastor these pastors but um others that i've heard 180 pastors are sick and um some have died even in that same week um, this, that's just pastors I'm talking about, but this reflects the level of COVID. Just like India, people are running around trying to get oxygen, dying because the oxygen runs out. Um, there's massive shortage of cylinders and beds. Um, it's been the worst, worst place has been Kathmandu Valley where I live. Um, they're in lockdown, but um, now it's getting worse in the rural areas because Thousands and thousands of people in Nepal migrate and work abroad and some of them work in India and once COVID and lockdown came in India, they return to Nepal and take COVID to the villages um, where they have you know, virtually no medical care. Or they'd have to travel for hours on bad roads or the oxygen's got to travel for hours to reach them. 
Um, so Yemen is involved right now in sourcing oxygen and supplies for local governments, local hospitals, um, PPE or oxygen or testing. Testing is um, there's not enough tests available at all. Um, some one province has virtually no testing whatsoever. Um, but when people are tested, the rate is about 44 percent currently if of positivity rate. Um, so the situation is just awful and people are just so sad. Um, last year, the COVID level was much less. Um, but what we suffered from last year and this year is um, the poverty. So people, about 70% of people are just in daily wage workers or maybe work in farming. But if they're in the city, they can't work. They can't do construction or selling things on the street. Those people have no money coming in, but they have no benefits and no furlough scheme from the government. And so if they have no money, they can't buy food, they can't pay the rent. And so last year, hundreds of people were walking from the city because there was no transport to get to the village um, to stay with family. And this year, uh, just hundreds of people wondering where they're going to get their meal from. Um, and even if they had to go to hospital because they were sick, they wouldn't they would have to pay something for that as well. Um, and another challenge we have is um, especially other people with other health needs, as you know, in the UK. Um, but in Nepal, because of the remoteness, that makes it even harder. And um, so especially maternal health, women um, in, in normal times would have to tr sometimes travel several hours to get to hospital. But last year there was no public transport or just now also. Um, so they couldn't get to hospital or the ambulances privately would charge a fortune. And so women and their babies were dying because of the lockdown. And that is happening again this year. Please pray for the COVID situation, um, for resources, for the oxygen and vaccinations and testing, um, but also for those who are grieving and for those who really need food. Um, yeah, secondly, please pray for the government. Um, there's been so many divisions in the middle of all this pandemic. Um, please pray that whoever is ruling will act fairly and with compassion for the people of the country. And finally, uh, please pray for UMN, uh, United Mission to Nepal. Please pray that we can get our um, permission from the government. We've been waiting for agreements to be signed for months and months and months. Um, please pray for that to happen soon. Um, and please pray for our work, that we will see long term change in the communities that we work, that people will come to fullness of life that God offers in Jesus Christ. Thanks.